the book that changed my life, uh, certainly, perhaps even more than once, is this book, Dom Rays, Typed with One Finger, or even this one, Selected Moments, or even this one, Indian Journeys, edited by Dom. Or perhaps this one, Dom Ray's Collected Poems? No, no, actually, actually, uh, this one, Serendip, Rare Book of Poems by Mr. Maurice. No, actually, I think you're going to have to come with me. The book that changed my life might be this one, Aubrey Beardsley, Under the Hill of Venus, with these gorgeous, gorgeous, very naughty illustrations. I don't want you children to look at this too much, okay? All right. All right. No, actually, the book that changed my life is this one, very rare, Coleridge, Poetry and Prose. Very lucky to get this one. No, 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 no. I'm changing my mind. Look, I'm a poet. I can change my mind. It's my prerogative. Come with me. This is the room I work in. And because it's the room I work in, I have a lot of poetry in this room. Because, you know, poetry is what makes you do good work. Because if you read good poetry, you write good prose or poetry or whatever. Okay, I think... Certainly, the book that changed my life for at least a day or two, if not almost a week, is this one. Roberto Bolaño, 266. I recommend it. I can't recommend it enough. No, or maybe it's Bolaño's Savage Detectives. Beautiful. No, no, no. Actually, it's Bolaño's Book of Poems, The Romantic Dogs. Gorgeous book. No, actually, it's his book of short stories, Last Evening's On Earth. Such a good book. Actually, what am I saying? I'm just going to say Anna Akhmatova, Selected Poems. Great book. So this is two days later. We ran out of space. Or was it film? Or maybe battery. Uh, anyway, and I'm going to pick up where I left off with the journals of Sylvia Plath. No, I'm not. I'm going to get to the book that really changed my life. Dante. I recommend this to all young children, The Inferno. It gives you a good idea of what is ahead. No, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop joking around, and I'm going to tell you the truth. It's Baudelaire. I just can't find the book. Come with me. This is certainly a book that changed my life. And I have two versions of it. The clean version, kind of, and the dirty version. But the same book, I recommend it heartily, especially to young readers. Um, and what is this on the floor? A beautiful edition of Confessions of an English Opium Eater by Thomas de Quincey. What a beautiful book. Changed my life. I recommend it to all young people. Not that I'm recommending opium. Here is a book that changed my life just last week. Human Smoke by Nicholson Baker. When you're old enough to read, I recommend you read this. And if you can't read that, read this. See? Small book. Fits in your pocket. See? Easy to pick up, easy to read. Full of very, very beautiful poems. And I would read one to you if I had the time. Finally, I'm going to end with the book that changes my life every day. Come with me. This, as you can see, is the kitchen. And this is a book that I use not just for cooking, but for reading pleasure. I'm going to open it at random and read a sentence. The first one I see. Fragrant and hot prawns. We drove to Juju on a damp spring day when mist had softened the landscape like the moist brush strokes of a traditional Chinese painting. Isn't that beautiful? In case you didn't get it, 
What I'm trying to say is there is no one book that has changed my life. Many books have changed my life and each day a book changes my life.